What's up guys? We're back. We got a tonneau cover. We're going to make it a not so big tonneau cover. If you've seen my other video, you know I already have a hard fiberglass tonneau cover for my truck. That was a little long. We cut it down. I really like it for going out of town to the city where you heathens try and steal my stuff. But here on my day to day, it's not always the best thing because sometimes my truck needs to be treated like a truck and that thing's not the easiest to get on and off. So today we're going to cut down a canvas, vinyl, whatever tonneau cover so that that's a little easier to take on and off. Now same deal as the hard tonneau, they're pretty easy to find in not the right size. So we're taking a look, pretty much all the full size trucks are about the same width. Um, it's usually just the length thing that's an issue, which I think I've got a way to tackle that today. I picked up a tonneau cover for free. Um, guy I had, didn't have the truck anymore, didn't want to bother with selling it, said, here you go. So let's take a look at how much too long it is and then what we're going to do to shorten it. As you can see, it mostly fits going down to bed, comes to all the way to the edge here. But then we got a two finger gap there. So I can live with all that. But this, that's an issue. My tailgate has a bow in it. So it sticks out further in the front. So we don't want to measure from the center. We want to measure from the side. And about 11 and a half is how much too long this is. So we want to take out 11 and a half inches. Taking a look at how this goes, ideally I'd like to take it out of the side up close to the cab because that's the least seen. That's what we did on my fiberglass one. That worked out nice because anything that's there, it's hard to see. The edge right by the tailgate, that's real easy to see. Problem is with that, this folds up. We want it to still fold up because that's convenient. Hey, it's on, got something kind of big, fold it up to the front, put the stuff in the back, so we need to keep that intact so we need the lengths to still fold up i don't want to shorten each section which i definitely could but that's a lot of work for not that much payback i mean we're cutting up a tonneau cover here okay so we need to take it out of this section to take 11 and a half inches out of this section, the way I see that we're going to have to do it, we're going to take this bar and slide it down. This is in a track system, so should just be this one screw, loosen it up, tap it down, move it to the same distance from the edge that it is now, down to here. So that'll make that lie somewhere in there, because we want the latches to stay the same, because I'm sure they're this far off, so the tailgate can still smooth up next to that. Then we're going to cut this section here out and we're going to move this bar down. Then we're going to slide the whole vinyl top to the back. Once we've slid the whole top to the back, we can wrap it around, cut the excess off, and probably screw it into the frame on the back. Once again, since it's up against the cab, it won't be that noticeable that we mess with stuff there. Where if it was right along the tailgate lip, you're going to see that. You're going to know, hey, what you do here but that's where we're headed so first thing I want to do is get this bar attached deattached so that I can slide this back and get that bar off so we can cut these now I got those screws out next thing I want to do is get this bar off that piece recesses into this channel on the side. When this is folded up like this, it gives it slack to where I can slide this canvas to get the slack to push that piece out. So that's what we're going to do and tap that piece out. Now that I've got both ends disconnected, we're going to flip this down so that it's out of the way 
and take out this last screw on this side. Now we're going to slide this channel all the way out because this is the piece we're going to cut shorter. Now that we got these pieces out, it's time to lose the 11 and a half inches. Now I've got those cut to size, I'm going to go ahead and slide them back into the tracks first. Got those pieces slid in, now I'm going to slide this crossbar back into the channels as well. Got everything back in there with the shortened sections now. Now what we're going to eventually do is we're going to slide the whole canvas part this direction. So these pieces will now meet up and the excess will go to the front, back, depending on how you're looking at it, the side closest to the cab. So got all that framework back in there to hold it together. Next thing I want to do is flip over to this back piece. We want to take this back bar out like we did on the other side. So we're going to tap that out and then we're going to slide this out all together and then we're going to work on sliding the canvas as a whole up the tracks. Okay, we've tapped loose that back piece here and then we need to take the screw out so we can slide this whole track out. All right. Now the easy part's out of the way, it's time for the hard part. Trying to slide this whole framework in the tracks of the canvas. And I don't know a good way to do this, so the only thing I'm going to do is throw it in the yard and try and wrestle it and just kind of tap them back and forth and hopefully I get that all the way to the other end. Then we'll pick back up. Don't judge me for the amount of power wheels that are in my yard. There's more in the back. That was a task. That was a task task. Um, I found out doing it a section at a time worked better than trying to move that whole assembly at once. So I separated each section, tapped each section forward because we do still need to keep the canvas in the tracks. And at all the hinge points, the bead that goes in there that holds it in the tracks is cut, which we'll have to cut those in a minute. But that was difficult to line up as a whole, so it was much easier as one section. So when you do that, do it section by section and prepare for a workout. But last thing, second to last thing, I don't know, somewhere. Got to put this back in. So we're going to trim that beading that goes in the tracks there. Um, take that off, put that in, roll that around, clamp it, get it as tight as we can before we throw some screws in there to hold this backside and trim it to fit. Got it wrapped over. We're just going to throw some screws along this edge, trim it up, do a test fit.
One last thing to do right here at all the joints. They've cut that plastic rib out of there. So we're going to do the same. Well, there it is on the truck. It's pretty good. Got a little bit of a wave where we move that. Hoping that'll settle out once, you know, it sits in the sun and actually stretched that way instead of, you know, whatever. It was free. It was free. All right, free tonneau cover trim down was a success. Lots and lots of elbow grease on that one. But, hey, those are out there. I mean, they're out there everywhere. Like, 20 bucks. Pick it up. Cut it down. With... That's the only thing we're really worried about on that project. Other than that, do like it did. Does it look perfect? No. But it was free. Update on the F100. All the wire is running there. Now it needs to be trimmed down and put the way that it's supposed to be, but the loom is in place. So, till next time, have a good one.